Hey everybody, Santa Claus here, Monday, March 4th. And we did a, another trip today. Have to go 30 miles just to do an inspection and a re-registration uh, renewal on your car. All the way here in uh, a lion. Uh, nothing is easy here in the Philippines. Especially if you live in a place that doesn't have all this flying here. It's the next biggest city after Gabaldon, but Gabaldon doesn't have anything like this. Only flying. It's uh, only a little further actually, to all the way to Cabana Tuan. It's not that much further. Uh, let me show you how busy this place is. See, Palayan, Palayan. Uh, so we were just over here. Where it says uh, Frank's. Where that truck is. And those umbrellas. That's where you go. That's your uh, LTO. That's where you go for driver's licenses and tag renewal and all kinds of other stuff, insurance. It's all here like 30 miles from where we live. This is just one part of the city. It goes all the way down here too. Another part of the city. It's a big area. And then you gotta drive here. Then you gotta drive to do the exhaust emissions test. The motorcycles are here. You gotta wait in line till they're ready to call your name. We already paid for everything. Then once you get your emission certificate, you gotta go back over here. Back over here. And you gotta hand it in. And then you don't get your paperwork right away. You gotta come back at three o'clock, four o'clock, and get your new paperwork. For, for the next year, 2024. That's how it's done. So we're not gonna stick around till three, four o'clock. We're gonna go back home and then she's probably gonna come back tomorrow morning and get the paperwork. Because uh, maybe she'll take the bus tomorrow. Because this was a real pain in the neck. All this gas you have to waste. And all this riding around. James is with us, of course. Uh, Catherine's in school, so I don't know what time we'll get back home. We'll probably stop in Gabaldon. Probably stop in Gabaldon and get uh, some rotisserie chicken or something, or uh, I don't know, something at the market bring it home since we're already this way that's it everybody that's what you got to go through around here really pretty big hassle uh, there's nothing where we live and like I say nothing in the next town is about it this is your only choice you have to come here or you have to do it when you uh, when you live in uh, Cabana Tuan. But we have too many other things to do when we're in Cabana Tuan. And uh, I think it's a bigger deal over there too. Some inspection centers in big cities make you go for even more stuff. A lot more stuff. Because they're bigger. Bigger cities make you go for a bigger deal. These small inspection stations, they don't have the, uh, the equipment to do all the, all the stuff. So, they let you get by with the minimum. But, uh, yeah, they hook a machine up to your exhaust. And, uh, you can tell when you're driving around the people that don't get their stuff inspected. Because, uh... <laughs> Their exhaust is not clean, trust me. I'd say at least 50% of all vehicles on the road don't have any kind of registration inspection. That's my guess. I 
probably 50% don't even have a driver's license. Maybe more. But, uh, you know, you got to follow the rules because you get caught in a checkpoint. Checkpoints are usually just for motorcycles. But they can check cars too if they want. Uh, I've never been through one in a car. But if you get in an accident or something like that, you better be up to date or you'll get a big fine. So, uh, when you re-register also, they uh, give you insurance for very, uh, very cheap insurance, very basic insurance you have to have. Uh, it's included in your payment. So this is all costing uh, 3,100 pesos which is like $62, maybe a little less, just figure 60 bucks. And uh, it's good for a year. Uh, now there's other ways you can do it if you know the right people without going through all this trouble, but it's more expensive because you gotta pay the people. So we'll just do it this way. Anyway, this is one last look what this place looks like once we're done here like I said we got to go back over there hand in our uh, paperwork saying we did the exhaust test and then uh, hopefully we're done after that so that wasn't too bad I thought we'd be here all day to tell you the truth but this is it this is the main street this is the only street this is the only street, really, unless you take the uh, the uh, military road, but then you bypass all this. You don't even come through this town. So if you want to come through this town for anything, you got to take this road. That's it, everybody. Just thought you'd be interested in how things work around here. Nothing's easy, nothing's fast. It's the Philippines. Alright, make sure you guys like and subscribe. That's it for now. God bless everyone. These guys are yelling at me over here. Santa Claus, over and out. God bless.